The quality of the barrel is, oh, we talked about it. Um, so the better the shots come together, the less we use, we lose. So a good barrel we talked about will be something like 5.5, you reach it. A normal barrel will be something like 6.2 and a bad barrel will be 7.5 7. or whatever. Where we never can just uh, test the barrel, uh, it's always a combination with the ammunition and the barrel. So this is uh, a very special thing, we have to compare a lot of ammunition to one barrel to find the perfect uh, combination. So there is no barrel which is good with every ammunition, there is no ammunition which is good with every barrel. Uh, normally it's a question of harmony. So then we have here the tube with the pressure air, which is a really good invention. At those times we loaded the rifles like this and we took muscle strength to uh, move the pallet. Then we had CO2, which uh, was not so pretty for any reason. And now since 10 years or something, we have this uh, air compressed technique, which is really beautiful because we leave the work of transporting the pallet to a compressor, he gives up bom, 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 the energy in inside and we can fire 200 shots or whatever without uh, any muscle power. One important thing, especially for Walter rifles, it's, uh, before I forget, I told it before, but it's very important to bring the, this uh, cylinder absolutely in to the uh, screw holding it. Mm -hmm. So if we lose the last tenth of a turn, the uh, tube will connect here and will destroy everything. So what I always ask the shooters, when you bring it in or out, sit down. Hast du den schon reingedreht? This was the way you wanted mm -hmm. to shoot today. So I can give it another tenth. Mm -hmm. So if it shoots here, 5.5 uh, millimeter, which we hope here it can be easily seven millimeters. Mm -hmm. So a shooter should be always really clear that is totally in. And the only way to do it is to sit down and hold it with one, two, three, four uh, contacts. Then you have the best impact on the on the cylinder. Here you, can, here you can die in one minute, the whole competition will be a disaster. So, uh, how about the pressure? If we make it full, it normally gets 200, 200 times uh, pressure. I don't know the word. Bars. Bars, yeah. This is what we say. Um, is it necessary to fill the cylinder always totally? So if we have 200 uh, bars inside, I think we can do something like 300 shots. Uh, but after 300 it will be 85 or whatever. So here the green area goes down to 70 bars. Is it good to shoot in between 170 bars? Um, uh, normally the best is just uh, to fill it but oh no yeah one day once upon the time we we compared different cylinders and we definitely found that some were better than others but you don't want to hear the story no I don't want to tell it but we have to be clear uh, that this is a technical system with all the advantage and disadvantage the advantage is that it makes a nice job without strength. Uh, the disadvantage is that every piece of the element can give us problems. So if the cylinder touches the stock or the bridge here, shots will go like hell. If we don't close it carefully, shots will go like hell. Here we have a 
a complicated system which leads the air through the hole and it comes out here and goes forward. We have something which compensates uh, the recoil. All these systems can get trouble. Which means um, a rifle should be checked every 12 months. If you live in India, where you have a lot of humidity and termites and everything who wants to eat your rifle, uh, maybe even more often, because the circumstances are quite complicated. Every six months, yeah. 